Hello everyone, so in previous video we have understand about the Pio transformation. In this video we are going to discuss about the unpio transformation and this both the transformation are opposite to each other. In the case of the Pio transformation what actually we were doing? Suppose you have a ID, suppose you have a country column. In this country column you were getting a unique value. Suppose you have given a India, suppose you are giving the USA and uh, suppose you are giving a UK. Now if your requirement is like if you want to convert this row values into a column like you want to have a id you want to have a one india column you want to have one usa column you if you want to have a uk column based on this unique values if you want to convert this row values into a column then you are using a pyot transformation and in the case of the unpyot we do a opposite suppose if you have a value like this suppose you have id is given india usa uk is given now if you want to convert this value into a row then you will use an unpired transformation. Let's take one example. Suppose I have given one value. I have a given ID 1, 2. I have a department, engineering department, sales department. I have a from a USA. I have a 10 employee who are from an engineering department. I have a 5, 5 employee who are from the sales department in a USA. In India, I have a 20 employee who are from an engineering department. I have a 10 employee who are from the sales department. Now you can see the USA and the India these are a unique columns now if my requirement is like i want to convert this value into a row for taking example i want output like this i want to have one separate column as a country in this country column only i will try to have a value for the usa and india and whatever the count we have for that we will store into the employee count so what is the output actually i want i want to have an id i want to have a department as usual what we have this USA and India, I want to create one new column country and in this value only we will try to store the USA and India whatever the value we have in an employee count. So for the ID1 engineering from USA we have a 10 employee. From ID1 engineer, engineering uh, from India I have a 20 employee. So I will get a total 4 rows because we are converting this column value into the row value. So this is the output we want. Then in this case actually we will use an pyot transformation. So you have to remember in the case of the pyot if you have to convert rows into a column then you will use a pyot transformation. But in the case of the unpyot if you have to co convert column into a row then you will use a unpired transformation. You can see like this column we are converting into the row. So that only you have to remember. Now let's do a practical. So I have one of the example. Let me show you the data set first. So this is the data set I have. I have ID department India and USA. And what is the output I want? ID department as well as the I will create one country column where I will store this India and USA and corresponding value into the employee account. So that is the practical we are going to do. So I have created one storage account. In this storage account, I have a unpired.csv this particular file I have created. And if I'll show you. Uh, this is what my file looks like now let's see in uh, data factory how actually we can do that so this also comes under the un data flow click on the new data flow first we will add a source so first we have to create a data set it's available in a blob storage so i'll select that csv file and after that we will create a link service so that we can establish a connection with the uh, blob storage so i'll select the subscription i'll select a storage account I'll click on the create and after that we'll select the file path so where actually our file is available this is available in input unpired.csv i'll click on the ok and click on the ok now in this case my file is available if you want to preview first you have to open the data flow debug option and in a data preview you will be able to see as of now it is rotating so once it will complete you will be able to preview now let's see how actually we can perform an unpired transformation so if you will click on the plus bottom you can see you have an unpired so click on that in this unpired option we get a multiple option un ungroup by unpired key unpired column so if you will see in our data so first we will discuss ungroup by so these are the value will be as it is right id and department so that actually we have to ungroup so i will select the id as the first column And I will select the another column. 
department so this both the column will be as it is right so i will select the id and department now second option is unpired key so this is the which particular uh, new what is the new column you want to create i want to create one new column as a country what is the type also we have to select so the type will be a string only so let's make a string and the pivot column names as value so whatever the column name will be there that value only will populate in the country so we'll select that now on pivot column in this case we have to we are going to create employee count because whatever the value is here if you will see this 10 5 5 and 10 for that we are creating a one column employee count and there we will store so for that i am using a uh, this column unpiloted column employee count and the value i am putting as a string only now let's see how actually we are getting a proper value or not so it's still rotating so let's wait it to be completed now you can see this is the output we are getting so we have created a new column as a country and this is the employee count actually we are storing so if you will see this was our input id department we have created a new column name as a country and there we are storing india and usa value and employee count these are the value we are storing so it's very simple step the first step is like ungroup by so whatever the value you want to keep as it is you can mention in ungroup whatever the new column you want to create that you have to mention into this unpired key and the third last one whatever the aggregate value you want to store it so that actually you have to use into the unpired column after that you just have to add your sync and you just have to copy your data so suppose i want to copy into the output output location so i'll create one data set as a csv file i'll use the same link service and i will try to stored into this output location click on the ok click on the ok after that go to the optimize use a single partition click on the new pipeline just drag your data flow debug and after that you have to click on the publish all once the publish will complete you just have to trigger and then you that file will get stored into your output location so that is the process only we have to follow now my publish is completed uh, i will just click on that trigger click on the trigger now click on the ok now i'll go to the monitor option and here my pipeline is running uh, once it will complete uh, we should be able to see our data you can see it is succeed now so we'll go to our uh, location storage account into this output you can see one file got generated go to the edit you can see we have a data id department country and employee count so i hope you got idea that's it in this thanks for watching